Hello and welcome to this section. In the previous session, I showed us how to install Splendor video software. And in this section, you're going to learn the different menus and their functions in Splendor video. So let's go straight. You double click to open Splendor software. Having opened it, it takes time, a little time. So this is the workspace and this is the, the timeline. So here open project. From here you can open if you have a template already. You can open it from wherever you save your templates or your project that you are working on or project you imported from another system. Now this one is create project. This create project we bring up a, a dialog box that will link you to starting or creating a project from scratch. This is when you've already created a project, you save while working. Always, it's always advisable you save as you work. You can as well save as, you can change the format, you can preview your work, you can add audio here. In the subsequent lecture, I'm going to show you how to add audio. Then you create video. This is where you now produce your video after your editing and animation and animating. Then you can import. You can import fonts. You can import audios. You can import slides. You can import SVGs and images into your project you can even import 3d videos and the rest there are presentation this is your entire work you want to present and see how your work goes you cannot do changes you can redo changes this wizard can as well help you to set up your video processes and this setting is to customize the how the functionality or functionality of the splendor that is language you know is by default is English now from this place reality free images you can get access to some reality free images but you have to sign up with those uh, links reality free footage you can also get it from the direct link that we shared over there can deactivate license, can contact the support, can as well go to their marketplace to see other software that is obtainable. You can view your account status over here. So this is test area, the image area, the video area, animation area, and the outline. So in subsequent classes or tutorial we're going to show here, I'm going to show you how to use and manipulate all these areas to set up the standard video animation. Now this is play with voiceover. This when you have a voiceover gig, you want to add or play alongside with your animation. This one is play with music. If you want to add background music to your project, you click on this and I will show you how you can get about adding your video, your audio to your project. Then this one is loop. This loop means you can continue. You want this uh, particular project to continue playing and playing and playing. So after the end of the slide or the end of the project, it recycles itself over and over audio on to on the audio or turn it off you can on audio you can turn audio off background overlay you can customize background overlay when you've added it delay slide you can change how the slide frame will be delayed you can extend slide and so on so these are the common functionality of a splendor video and their menu and the functions too.
I believe you enjoy this section. Thank you for watching and God bless you. See you in the next.